Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, these are the Staley Bridge Diaries. And um, we are in a safe where I'm playing with the lower league side that has been promoted to the, through the tiers. Now, this is an extremely interesting safe because um, there are things that have happened in this safe that haven't happened to me in a long time. And it's made me um, look at certain elements of the game in a different way. And... Uh, one of the most important things is dynamics because dynamics now can be a pain in the ass if you don't manage it correctly. And that's exactly what's happened to um, Stady Bridge. Now, a quick update first up before we get into that. Uh, the team has gone out and they have spent... I mean, I was so pissed off last season, right? Because we didn't have enough depth. We, we kind of like... We kind of tailed off at the end of the season. We couldn't keep up the momentum with uh, the top sides. Uh, we just didn't have enough in the tank. So we got we gone out there and we got in ourselves a striker called Daniel Costa, who's pretty fast, nimble. He's not very tall, uh, but uh, I part of me made a, again. I made a mistake because I don't give myself a lot of options. Uh, I was sure I'd gone with a taller striker, but I've gone there and spent 76 million on this player. Baggio, we signed him a bit earlier in the season. Thought there's a lot to come from this player. This is an 18 year old Brazilian player, um, and he has uh, got a jumping reach of 19. Uh, immediately when I saw that, I went, like, I need him, and he's 18 years old, so he's got plenty of potential in him. Um, he's got anticipation. Only thing that he doesn't have is a lot of his work rate, but I think that can, that can improve over time. So. Better to have bravery than low work rate. So uh, his determination is pretty good. Fairly determined personality. Uh, Dario Costa is the only drawback because he's still balanced. So that's a mistake I made. And Luke Austin, he's joined the club, also fairly determined. He's an, so we've got ourselves two strikers and one defender. Now, what happened last season? Okay, last season, if you guys remember, we had this little drama with a player called Facundo Gaetan, right? Now, Facundo Gaetan, when we signed him, we brought him into the club and uh, he asked to have his friends as well brought into the club. So, along with Facundo Gaetan, we also brought in a few players. Uh, let's look at the season. I think when we signed him, uh, we signed him quite a long time ago. Let's see. Uh, season 28, 29. Justin Galea, 27, 28. No... 26, 27, Lucky Maltley, and where is Facundo? There we go. Facundo Gaetan was signed for QPR for 10.75 million. So a lot with Facundo Gaetan, I brought in Andrea, Adrian Makaya. He asked for friends, right? So we brought this guy in and we brought Matteo Cuesta in. Okay, so these players were brought in. The, the following season, we also brought in uh, Calvinado, right? Calvinado was eventually uh, brought in. I think his name, yeah, he was also brought in from Flamengo. Another Brazilian. Okay, what has happened is it's it's very annoying. Okay, the players, the two players that I brought in, Calvinado, Mateo Cuesta, because right now uh, our friend uh, Facundo Gaetan is already gone. You know, we we offloaded him to Southampton for a loan fee. So he's, I mean, he's not gone here. He's still with the club. Uh, his personality is balanced, but he has had an effect on some of the players. So he's had an effect on all his mates. So we got the two players that the Facun uh Kelvinado used to be fairly professional. Right. So now Kelvinado is unambitious. <laughs> his personality just went rock bottom. Right. So looking at his attributes alone, uh, this will affect his development over time. His determination is still okay. So his uh attrib his uh his personality has dropped. He's gonna knock it into his training. So I have to have a strategy in place for him. The other player, and this is the big, big issue for me right now, because he is my number one defender. He was, uh, he's gone to ambitious as well. So I've got two of his mates now who are um, disappointing. So when I go to his training, I've got to look at his train rating 7.05. Now, I'm going to start disciplining him and Calvin Ardo. And if their training rating now drops to like six, that's it. They get one big warning from me, and I'm gonna just you know I'm just gonna just gonna go up and you know tell those players that um, they have an issue with their their performances, 
And I'm hoping this works because I have to keep an eye out on both these players. So this save has become extremely interesting because it's never happened to me before. Because in previous editions of Football Manager, all you had to do was get their personalities up, right? And once your personalities were up, you just gonna smile, you know, you go through the game, you win everything, yeah, celebrate, yeah, I've done the title. Go in again, rinse, repeat. It was so easy to play the game. Uh, now we've got another issue. I've got players like Fak uh I got the Facundo Gaetans of the world who have come in and destroy I, I won't say he's destroyed my team because this is person partly my fault. So what doesn't work now in FM twenty is um if you have a player like that in your squad, you either, if he keeps giving you that pro, you got to loan him out immediately, right? Or you got to let him go, right? You, you can't be held ransom by him. So you got to find a way of managing the player. If the player becomes a problem child, you got to let him go before he infects other players in your club. And now he's infected other players in my club. I also made the mistake of probably solid applying solitary confinement on him by shoving him to the under-18s, leaving him there to stew. Matteo Cuesta and the rest probably became unhappy. So now the qu I, could I turn things around by bringing him back into the main main team? It won't work because um, we tried that in pre-season. So in pre-season, what I did was I brought him, I gave him a chance to play a couple of games in pre-season. He played one game and when disappeared again for another week. So I went like, okay, that's it. You know, this guy apparently loves his alcohol. He's worse than George Best. At least George Best performed on the pitch, right? This guy is just... George Best was... Hey, you can't compare yourself to George Best. George Best is a legend. So this is insulting George Best to think that he can he can be as, you know, like George Best. So yeah, the thing here is that we have a system in place right now. Um, I've got... I think I've got the liquid system, the Firefox systems, and I've got this... I'm, pl I'm planning to use a 4 2 3 one because we have the players now for the 4 2 3 one But this is it, right? So, question is, do I... This this the situation I find myself in. All right. Okay, so how am I going to... How am I going to um, turn things around with these players? So, I'm a, so this is going to be the, the, the focus of the show now. Okay, I got Cuesta and I got Calvinado. Right, so for the next couple of episodes, we're going to see whether or not the strategy I have in place is going to work. Whether or not I can get these players from the unambitious mental state back in, uh, you know, back to where they were before. So, um, one of the things I have, uh, the season has just started. So, we have played a couple of matches already. As you can see, there's some of these... Uh, uh, some of these uh, Premier League that we beat Manchester United. We lost to Man City in the uh, Super Cup, which is a huge disappointment. Then we drew against Chelsea in, uh, the, in the league. And then uh, we narrowly beat Arsenal 3-2 before we beat Wolves 1-0 with a 4-2-3-1. So I'm, I'm experimenting with all 4-2-3-1. But it, was like one, it does do what I expect it to do. Action zones are pretty good. Um, and I'm looking at the teams. I'm looking at our shots, uh, shots of goal from both sides. Pretty solid performance from our team. Finishing is still a problem. I think we have to give our time, some our team, some time to settle into the system. So, what am I gonna do? Okay, first thing, let's look at um, the last couple of matches. So we got league matches: one, two, three, four, five, maybe until Manchester United, right? So we got all these matches here. So you got five matches. So we look at Cuesta, his reports for his form. 7.5, 7.1, 6.8, 7.5, 7.0, Shit, I, I can't throw the boot at him because these are good numbers. <laughs> these are all good numbers. Right? 7.5 is a good number. So he's playing well. Um, and he's I mean, like, okay, he's not doing that badly. Then we got Calvinado, right? So the next player is Calvin. Calvinado hasn't been playing a lot of games. So where is Mr. Calvinado? There we go. And form. Now, Calvinado, definitely again. 6.5, 6.8, 7.0, 6.8, 6.3, 6.7. So Calvinado, I'm gonna, I'm going to um interaction. We're gonna warn the player for his recent form. Your form has been declined. Try to pick yourself up in the next few matches. Bang. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start. Giving, trying, I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking of doing is trying to push him because his training rating is also very bad. Criticize his training. Uh, 
Okay, he's obviously can't. But I've criticized him. Let's see whether or not the person. I don't think the personality is going to change overnight, right? So, the next thing we do is training and mentoring. Okay, this is the tough part, right? So I've got I've got Excel One ZB is driven. I've got Baggio score group fairly determined. So these guys are in there. So these are all solid personalities. They're all improving. Uh, I'm going to remove Nicholas Strunk. Uh, I'm going to remove Resolute. So I got driven, fairly determined. Baggio is a young player, but he's not in the core group. Okay. We got Matteo Cuesta. I'm going to add him here. I'm going to add another. So first, I got to go to dynamics, right? Hierarchy. Got to find the players in the same social group. Okay. We got Exalt 1ZB. Josh Bowler. Okay. Josh Bowler goes in. Uh, I got Josh Bowler. And Martinovic is uh, Nardone. Bazunu, Girard, Galea, Simic, Costa, Girardi, Colina, Austin. Uh, Calvinado and Cuesta not involved. Aluzio, yes. Cuesta, Calvinado and Martley. So, what, what is Michel Aluzio? His balance not going to work. So, we're going to have to try and see whether or not... Uh, this is... Usually, you want them to be in the same social group so that your chance of uh, mentoring them goes up, right? So, I've got basically... I got Mr. Martinovic, Michel Aluzio. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick Michel Aluzio into uh, Exalt 1ZB's group, right? Then I'm going to uh, also put Bowler in there. So, Tuan ZB, Aluzio, Bowler. Then we put Calvinado and Cuesta into that group. That's the plan. <laughs> and I just have to remember. All right, so we got Exalt 1ZB. We got, we're going to delete this group. Okay, add player. We got Josh Bowler. Where are you, Mr. Josh Bowler? All right, add player. We got um, Mr. Michel Aluzio, add player. All right, then we got Cuesta. Where the hell is Cuesta? Cuesta, add player. Now we got Driven, Unambitious. This is this might work. Calvinado, these are all highly influential players. So these two guys are influential players, but the team leaders are driven and balanced. And we got Josh Bowler here. I'm gonna leave him here. Um, yeah, we got, we're gonna try this out. It might not work. It might not work though. <laughs> I, I just want to know if it improves because mentoring. If you have them in the same social group, the odds are much higher. All right. So that was the problem with Kawesta and the rest of them. They're all with Fakundo Gaitan's social group, so they all went out. The good thing is they all didn't go out drinking together. So we got Boxall. Okay, we got Aluzio, Nardone, Martinovic is gonna be in defense, Galeo, Baggio. This is a this is a new team, right? So Costa, Woodburn, Woodburn is a trequatista. Ken, um uh, this position. Uh it's either CF on attack or complete forward is okay. Or I can use a pressing forward on attack. Generally, I just want an attack duty here. Um once one attack will be too far away. Poacher on attack is not that bad. Uh, but it's pressing forward on attack, not so good. So Poacher on attack. We're going to go Poacher on attack. Tracotista inside forward, inside forward. Uh, okay, then we got the usual suspects. We got Girard. I'm going to, I'm going to put Girard on the pitch instead of Cuesta. Basically, Cuesta has been playing well. But I'm going to like keep Cuesta and Calvinado on the bench now. They're going to have to prove themselves. So let's see what happens to them. I don't know if this is the right thing to do though. <laughs> this could this could come back and bite me on the ass. Champions League match. So, oh, okay. Let's let's take a look at our Champions League group as well. Inter, Staley Bridge, Hertha, Berlin, Zenith. Wow. This is not too bad. Um, we got all the groups. Let's look at the... All the groups. You got Celtic, Atletico Madrid, Borussia Dortmund. Wow, this is a nice group. Arsenal, Bayern. This is a terrible group. Arsenal, Bayern, and Monaco. Sporting, Chelsea, and Barcelona. Wow, these English sides have got no easy groups. And Arsenal, Bayern, Monaco, Benfica, Valencia, Juventus, Inter, Stade Bridge. We got the easiest group. PSG, Spurs, Lazio, Ajax. Holy cow, that's a tough group. Man City, Real Madrid, Bayer Leverkusen, Sesko Moscow. Ouch. Well, Napoli's group was also not too bad. So we're lucky we managed to get a decent group. But decent groups come for jack shit if we can't perform. <laughs> Alright, what have we what do I see here? I see a narrow system. Okay, with a narrow system, 
I probably will be a bit more aggressive than I normally would be. Uh, tactics, um, overlap, left, overlap, right. We're not going to do this. Yep, this is fine. This is fine. We're going to prevent short goalkeeper decision. We're going to play high up the pitch. Um, okay. Mm. Now nah, we're going to give up the flanks. Let them cross the ball. Okay. Here we go. Matches away. Austin to Aluzio. Aluzio plays out to Girard. Girard. Oh, I couldn't get past that player. And then we got Barrero. Out wide it goes to Bosnian. Um, we we just gonna keep an eye out on the how this team plays. We should we should have no problems past. We should get past Zenith without too much drama. This is a narrow system. Boom, pass into space. They got wing backs attacking me. Okay. Um, what else can I do? I could be more expressive, but we'll see. It's like I don't want to switch on all the buttons at the same time. Fuentes, Galea, Fuentes, Austin, Alusio. It's so easy. It's so much more different when you're playing by yourself and you're not on Twitch, right? On Twitch, you like, uh, 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 should I, should I, should I go attacking? <laughs> Uh, cleared Gelson to Bosnin. I don't want that four two three one to come out. It's a narrow four two three one, so we're gonna keep putting pressure on them. Pereiro, Chikia out to Pereiro to sh whatever this guy's name is. Good work from Zenis. Zenis inside the box. That was good defending from uh, our left back Fuentes. Corner to be taken. Out it goes. Oh, this is lining up for a shot. No, he can't get it off because it's blocked. Girard. Now, Donate does well. Um, putting They're putting pressure on the back line. It goes back to Lorius Carius, who's now playing for Zenith. Costa does well. Uh, but he is offside. Poznan, Gelson. Um, okay, Austin again. Looks long. Costa is to chase this. Carriers. Defenders don't do well. Demand more. We're not really spending a lot of time in their half. Pass into space is going to be removed. We got Nadone. Michel Luzio out to Girard. Girard can't cross the ball. Uh, 24 minutes. We got shot up. Michel Luzio into the box. Cleared. Woodburn, Aluzio, having to work very, very hard. Pereiro, Nardone picks the ball up. This is not a Champions, as some might say, this is not a Champions League winning tactic. <laughs> and that, yeah, very boring. Poacher, yeah, I know. It's not very complicated. Sometimes simplicity is best. Girard, Simic, Girard, out to Woodburn. Back to Aluzio, to Costa, Costa to Austin, Austin to Fuentes, Fuentes can't get the cross. They're still putting pressure on them. Do I am I using inverted wing backs? No. Wing back on support. Okay, Pereiro out wide he goes to. They got the ball back. And they nah, they can't get the cross in either. And Zenith have actually scored the opening goal. This is a. Uh, this is ah, uh, this is not good. Now Donny with the free kick, we equalize. Man, Zenith scored first, but we managed to equalize almost straight after. Mm. Don't know with my now. I have to look at my ratings. I think. If my poacher is not my poacher is not really moving around a lot, right? Because he's like a point man here. Woodburn, Austin, Aluzio, and Girard crossing the ball. Austin, oh. Okay, we're gonna have to team talk our way to success. Uh, we're gonna have to turn this guy into a complete forward on attack. One, two, three. At least he might roam and give us a bit more space. Okay. Uh, Trequatista inside forward. 
inside forward. Wing back is going to go this way. And this guy is going to go this way. All right, let's go second half. Barrero, Gigia, Costa. Good work from Radoni. I guess it's Simich. Simich now looks for and Austin scores. <laughs> Franco Simich has done it. Okay, we, we needed that, man. I thought we were playing like shit. First half wasn't so good. Second half, uh, what a cross that turned out to be. And Sim oh, that was a lovely goal from Luke Austin. Scores his first Champions League goal. Okay, Simic back to Girard, to Nardone, out to Aluzio, Simic, Woodburn, plays it to Fuentes, Austin, Aluzio, back to Girard, Girard has time to cross. Nardone, back to Aluzio, out he goes to Girard, come on, can cross the ball. Managed to um, do enough, yep. Confident with a 4-2-3-1 here. Our team is not that slow. Nardone with a free kick over the top. I'm going to demand more from my boys. Girard crosses the ball. Nardone shoots Simic. It's a penalty? No, it's not. We got Daniel Costa not playing well. Shout. Yeah, Daniel Costa 6.4. I don't think the complete forward... I mean, he, he looks fine. Right. Definitely can play the role. We got Nardone... Kai Shearhouse loses the ball to Aluzio. Woodburn now. Looks at Costa. Costa almost gets inside to score the third. Okay. Alright, we got uh, Girard. Costa does well. Now this is what I want to see him do. That's why we signed you for all that money. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> like you run your heart out for this team. 6.6. .6. Okay, it's working. Slight improvement. Now Donate with a free kick sailing over the bar. Now he's on a yellow card. But he's playing really well. Now Donate again. Um okay, we wanna take now Donate off now. Yellow card, he's the best in the business when it comes to keeping our midfield safe. I'm gonna bring on uh we're gonna take a chance. I'm gonna bring on Malcolm Boxo. It's non-tackling play with 10 minutes to go. I'm hoping his anticipation and his reading of the game is good enough so he doesn't he does not need to go and tackle. <laughs> Aluzio, Lukovic, uh, they get it out. It's uh to it's good work from them. They get into a position and good defending from the boys. Again. There we go. Alright, shut them down. Ah, okay, that's enough. Alright. Costa. Woodburn. Costa. It's Austin. It's Austin's second goal. It's 3-1. As a steady bridge turned... Well, our first half wasn't so good. Our second half is a lot better. Uh, Lucio. Calvinado. You can come on for him now. Oh, Baju is onside. You're onside. Yes, he's onside. That was a nice set piece. 4-1. Last contribution from Aluzio is a perfect corner. Mo, I don't think he's on. I think he's offside. This looked offside to me. But we take him off. It's two goals to the good. Galea with the free kick. Baju wants to go in. So it's a steady bridge. 4 Zenith one. Costa now with the ball. Plays it back to Fuentes. Austin. Under pressure immediately. Carries has to Carries is not very good under pressure. Simic. Uh, okay, that's it. That should be enough for us. We've managed to secure the win over um this team called the uh, Zenith. That was a good win. Our next game is going to be against Liverpool. Aluzio is injured for one to two days. Now we got 
the, this is one of my players, right? So he's on loan. Mark Klug, he's on, he's going to be at, he's at Lazio right now. I thought this was a fantastic opportunity for him. So he's gone in and he's playing for Lazio at this moment. He played against PSG, kept a clean sheet. Very impressed with his development. So he's out there and he's 20 years old. I'm hoping he develops and, uh, you know, has a chance to play for the first team. Uh, we've done okay. Uh, now we have to look at the player ratings. And if Calvin Ardo didn't play, I mean, it's unfair to tell Calvin Ardo you didn't play well after like, you know, he's only been on the pitch for a short while. So let's look at the ratings of the players. So we had 7.5s. Aluzio is 7.1. It's okay. Uh, key passes. Two. Ben Woodburn played brilliantly as a Trequartista. This is what I want to see. So this is a good performance from him. right? So he's done really well. The combination worked well. Daniel Costa, not so good. Um, didn't get out of the score sheet. 6.8. Performance is a bit limp. Uh, the, other, the other teammates carried him. Look, Austin, he had a blinder. Because this tactic... It's going to be good for the... See, most of my chances will come from this side. As you can see, left side. I have a lot. I don't have too many centrally placed. So, we have this guy coming in to score because this guy is going to drive at defences, pull players away. The chance that this guy will be able to deliver the cross or even this guy will be able to deliver the cross, which is one of the reasons why I actually prefer a target man over here. Uh, target man would have been better. Then I can ask him to cross to the target man. I can ask this guy to cross to the... I can ask everybody to cross to the target man. It's a very simple tactic, but it works. So far, so good. So the boys have done okay. We managed to win our first Champions League match after falling... After falling... What was it? A goal behind. Now, um, I can't really... I'm going to wait for Cuesta. I want to see about whether they do well in training. If they do well in training, they show some um, improvements, then yeah. Franco Simic wants a new contract. Value of his rotational is the information I have on him. Um, his contract info. 2.8 per annum. Um, his rotation expires 2032. Uh, I might ask uh, Martinovic to resolve the issue first. Can't resolve the issue. Discuss new contract. What do you want, boy? I feel to refer that I'm a much better player now than when I agreed to my current deal. Man, you, how long have you been in the club? <laughs> Fuck me, blue. <laughs> One season. That's it. I'm a much better player now. Is it really true that you're a much player now since you joined the club? Okay. Let's see. You've got a slight improvement in mental ability. That's all. So you're not that much of a... You know, you're not that... Great, it's just that you're playing in a system where you can score goals or you can create goals. Um, and how do they actually do this? You know, like, you know, how do they know that they're a much better player? Let's look at his history, right? So you had three goals and four assists. Now you got one goal, one assist in five games. How does that make him a better player? Man. How? I mean... This is the part where I want to get angry. Uh, or if, no, I promise you, with this kind of proof that, that, that then we can get away, sort of away from the stress of preparing. If I think it's worth as much as the other players, you've got to prove it. Do something that separates you from the rest of the pack. Uh, you need to learn when to release. You've been trying to take your fullbacks way too often. And the majority of the just haven't been said, nope, no, 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 that's okay. As a winger, we run across to find a target. I'm afraid they haven't been good enough lately. And you need to warn that accuracy. No, nope. he did deliver two crosses and one assist. So that definitely is a no. You really look like you're, you're lacking home. As a winger, you should be looking to drive if we get across. You've been, you have barely turned in the rush and you need to work on that to get back in the side. What? All of these are not true. <laughs> Shit, now I gotta pick one that is not true. As a, well, I was hoping to see that you can develop better as a player. Yeah, like I appreciate it. I'll drop the issue and I promise to work hard to improve my game. Okay, lucky. Alright, that was that worked fine. Okay, now let's look at um Calvinado and Cuesta. Now see whether I can talk to them, right? Interaction. Um criticize his training. Let's look at his training. 7.5. We'll give him some time because I wanna I wanna kick these players up. One player, criticize reason for. One player, no criticize conduct. 
what conduct? He hasn't done anything wrong. <laughs> I want to do something, right? I desperately want those those uh, personalities to improve. So we managed to get our win off and running. So now the, the sort of the strategy is going to be this, okay? Whenever I play Cuesta and Calvinado, I'm, I'm watching them like a hawk. Now I watch their training. The moment I get a bad training report, I criticize their training. If they give me a set, if they give me a six point eight and a below for any game, I criticize them. Then I, I bench them. So now I'm benching both of them for a while to see whether or not. I mean, if I was benched in real life, I get angry after a while because if I'm driven by ambition, I'll get angry, right? So that makes sense. So I'm using logic to see whether it applies in the game. If it doesn't, then the game has then that this element of the game has no fucking logic. Because if your manager benches you, it means that you're not good enough. If you're not good enough, you have to prove that you're good enough. So uh, you either perform better in training or you show him on the pitch. And some players might say, uh, you know, you need to let me play so I can show you what I'm capable of on the pitch. And you, I don't know whether there's a way for me to go in and say, you know, um, nope, you, uh, you have to show me, show it to me in training first before I let you anywhere near the pitch. So this is going to be an, is an approach I have to take with uh, this these two players. It's become the focus of the safe now. Uh, while I have all the rest, I'm, I'm going to try and get the most out of Douglas Costa. I've signed him for 70 old million, so he better start scoring goals. Um, he will definitely score goals if I push him wide, but I don't want to do that. We could. Martley can go forward. Uh, Costa can go to the left, and then Austin can come to the right, which is one, one of my other options in this tactic. So one of the reasons why I'm playing a 4 2 3 one or 4 one 2 3 there are definitely uh, options to go with uh, that setup. So... This is where we are with the safe at the moment. Uh, we are doing okay. We just got him past Zenith. We have a little drama in our team that we have to, we have to work on. Uh, and uh, hopefully, these two players, Calvinado and Mr. Cuesta. Where is Mr. Cuesta? Cuesta is also an influential player. I mean, this guy was actually captaining the, uh, the Argentinian youth team. right? So he's the captain of the Argentinian youth team. So if he is going to be carry on being unambitious, how will that affect his development? So this is the direction the save is going, and it's going to be very interesting. And I hope you guys come back and watch more of this, and you know share your ideas. I mean, what have you done in your safe and you face? Have you faced a similar situation in your safe? Have you actually gone into a safe and you know this has popped up smack in your face and you needed to deal with it immediately? And what were your strategies on dealing with it? Maybe you can help me out too. So you guys take care, have a good one. Um, and once again, uh, if you like the show, hit the like and subscribe button. We've got more shows coming up. Take care, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.